Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I've got a two-minute Moab by Poonstars.com from the clan operation the other day, TDM clan operation, and he was able to get 1,032 kills in three hours in the TDM clan operation, just running solo by himself, and that is the definition of a super beast, and one of the things that I want to talk about in this commentary is just things that are going on in the clan operations that kind of ruin the spirit of the game and the spirit of the competitiveness of the clan operations. And it is, clans are running like dome only. So they'll do these clan operations like TDM and there's a way, I don't even know how it's done, but I know that there's some way that you can just run dome only. I don't know if they're doing it in a party and someone finds dome and then invites them to their lobby where it's dome and then people go out and do it. I'm not quite sure how it's done, but people are doing it and they'll do a full three hour clan operation only on dome. So you're going to get the most kills per minute if you're only playing on dome. And I think that's... It's not cheating because it's officially not against the rules because Call of Duty Elite and Beachhead Studios haven't officially frowned upon that tactic and there are clans that are winning operations using that tactic and they don't get disqualified for doing it. And I don't think that anything's going to be done unless people kind of raise their voice in opposition to clans winning using that tactic which I think really ruins the spirit of the game. You shouldn't have to play Dome for three hours to win an operation. And so I put a link in the description where you can just click to tweet, and that's the best way to reach Beachhead Studios and Call of Duty Elite. They read their Twitter messages. So if you click on that, it'll automatically have a message to Call of Duty Elite and Beachhead Studios that just says, please disqualify clans running dome only in clan operations. We shouldn't have to play dome only to win. So if you just click on that and tweet it at them, all you have to do is click it and then just say send. And it, it should raise some awareness at least to them that this is something that I think sh should be looked into. The rules are not really clearly defined and I think that this is something that you shouldn't be able to win just running dome only because it's not officially cheating, but I think it should be in the rules that you're not allowed to do that because it's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Especially if someone doesn't even know how to do the dome only, like to run dome only. And I'm sure you need a coordinated effort, but I, I don't even want to learn how to do it because I don't think that you should have to do that to win clan operations. And that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I'd also like to see like leaderboards for clan operations so that you can see which clans won which operations. Because right now we have no idea who even won the last TDM operation. We got third place and I'll put a link to the or put the top six players in the description. But we don't even know who got first place. It was who knows who knows who it was, but we don't know. I, so that's why I'd at least like to see like a leaderboard just so you know which clan won. Well, that's all I have for now. So you can click on the link on the screen if you want to go check out Pwnstar.com's channel. And also be sure to click that uh, click to tweet link in the description so we can kind of bring up the dome only issue to Call of Duty Elite and Beachhead Studios. All right, that's all I have for now. So I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.